Hi, welcome back. Your turn. Uh, <laughs> Monster Prom, Razzle Quazzle, what you got? That's what we're doing. What? It's your turn. What are you talking about? <laughs> Brian, go. It's you. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like my turn to say something witty. No. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bed. What is that? We're still waiting on that. I know. I'm, I'm cooking up a good one. That day you skipped class just to hang out in the bathroom is because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. Fire. By skipping class and hanging out in bathrooms. You give plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Oh. You're hanging out with Polly afterwards, and she's about to show you her latest dumb tattoo, when suddenly... Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I have no idea what we're looking at, but you're both... Right. Oh god. <clears throat> He is the most smarmy, fake seduction master, like, like, you know the game Super Seducer? Mm, by name only, but already I think the context of that title. Exactly. He okay. is that. He's uh, that guy? So, who wants to be him? You. Me? Wait, already? I'll, I'll be Polly. Do you want to be him? Or do you want me to be him? Never fear, my lady. I will save you from this, uh, cr cretin. Ugh, it's the interdimensional prince, and he's apparently here to block your metaphorical cock. Whoa, you're so sparkly. Are those tearaway pants? <laughs> Sadly, they are not, my queen. My fashion sense does not operate on the same ethereal plane as your own. Well, I am persistently on fleek. I died on fleek, and so I'm cursed to roam the earth forever, eternally on fleek. It is this exact on fleekness which I seek. For you see, madame... I am in need of a fashionista such as yourself to plan the ultimate wedding. Ours! Ours? This could be bad. You know, Polly's not above getting married as a one-off joke. You've got to stop this madness. Suplexing. Throw a party so dope Polly doesn't want to travel to another dimension? A party with sex lasers. Marry the prince yourself, right now! No, sex lasers. <laughs> you steal the sex lasers from your school's highly controversial physics lab and get... The party started! I'm sorry, this exists? Great Zorblons of Gorlaxia! I did not know you had such sick parties in this dimension! Get fucked, scrub. Yeah, boy! This school is naturally ranked in the field of part party cycle physics! Particle. Particle. Particle physics. Particle. Why is it? <laughs> particles! Yeah. It's uh, made of particles, particles that are like. <laughs> I don't know what kind of snooty. Soirees. Soirees, you've got over there. Soirees. <laughs> I don't know what kind of snooty soirees you've got over there in the snooze dimension, but here at Spooky High School, we have sex with the coherent light. <laughs> I am truly humbled by the heartiness of your party. I shall return to my dimension and lament the fact that it is a total party wasteland. You don't even notice the prince leaving, because you're too busy humping a laser. You gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. <laughs> humping that went laser. way better than I expected. <laughs> Alright, everybody chooses an object. A dick, a say, dildo. <laughs> say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Oh, we have to... Okay, so just pick an object. A dildo. Wait, is it something that we just think up off the top yes. of the head? Oh, okay, so it's not... That's why I said a dildo. <laughs> you keep saying that, and I'm trying to think of something besides <laughs> dildo. Sex <laughs> laser. <laughs> Good lord, what... What is the matter with both of you? <laughs> Rhino. <laughs> Player orders is decided based on how unsexy it would be to use the selected object as a sexual Rhino toy. Rhino <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty yep. sure. Uh, so McNutt is first place, a laser is second place, and I guess Dildo is third. So, yeah. uh, Sounds about right. McNutt, Brian, you, you. It basically just decides who player order will be for the next week. Okay. Well, it's for noon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait week next, one. Yeah. So wait. Yeah, so, we're on week one. Okay, I'm, like, considering how long it takes There's two for... weeks, yeah. Okay, fine. All right, uh, now you choose who you want to sit by. So oh. this is where you really start to pick who Oh, God, why is he back like, again? You know? Oh, okay, so this is where we actually choose. Yeah, you can sit here and pick and talk to someone, and then it will set you up even more with that person. Because that whole thing, I was super worried that it was entirely random on who is at that location. I was like, what if I keep getting the fucking werewolf dude the entire time? Because I don't... It was only because your quiz set you up werewolf early oh, on, just like okay. my quiz set me up Polly early on to start. So and it like gives you a boost. Damien. Yeah. Okay, so it's just that first week. Yeah. Oh, okay. or first time yeah. thing. Kind of gives you a chance to get a leg up on, well, getting a leg over. But yeah. the cat for the cafeteria at noon, it, that's a shop that you go and buy stuff from. Oh. And some of the shops, uh, items, open you up to entirely new plots and endings, and some will doom you to fail. Wasn't it like Dragon Heat? 
I love Dragon Heat. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna try to fuck the fish. You arrive at your chosen table to find Miranda folding napkins at Vera. Alright. Okay, <laughs> let me directly look right, at No, are me. you Miranda or oh, Vera? Because I'll be the other one. Oh, be, no. You be Vera, because I can do Miranda okay. and Polly's voice. Do you... Mm. You alright? Yeah, I had to think Find of, your inner mermaid. I had to, to think of like, what I wanted her voice to be. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why, what's wrong? Do you want to know what this t this one is for, Vera? No. I'll take that as a yes. The rose-shaped napkin fold is for birthdays between the ages of 16 and 22. Miranda's hands move fast as lightning, turning the rose into a gorgeous white swan. By contrast, this swan folding is for first weddings, third weddings, and swan giveaways. As a fashion enthusiast, I have never been so bored by a piece of fabric. Oh, and this black swan folding is for weddings where you plan to brutally murder all the guests. Not very popular, the black swan folding. I love her face. I just want to establish up top, uh, my kind of woman. <laughs> I figured she would be. <laughs> okay, that's sort of cool, but I'm still aggressively uninterested. <clears throat> you happen to have some napkin folding skills yourself. Maybe you can spice up this interaction. You decide to show off your most impressive napkin fold. If you fold the napkin like so, it creates a self-aware napkin whose sole purpose is to fold more napkins. Or, this writhing snake fold is for when it's time to leave Vera alone and stop explaining napkin folds. These are mostly, like, if you want to, like, get hearts for different people. Obviously, the, the one telling you to leave Vera alone is for Vera, so the yeah. top one's gonna be the mer girl. Okay. Oh, that's adorable! Look at it folding everybody's napkins! It's like a tiny, adorable surf! It looks like it's folding the other napkins into more self-folding napkins. I know! It's so efficient! Go, little napkin sir! Be free! Aren't you worried this will turn into a self-replicating napkin scenario, progressing geometrically until the world is nothing but napkins? Have I made a horrible mistake? No. I feel like I've just created an, <laughs> an absolute affront to God. Now there's gonna be like a bazillion napkins in the cafeteria. Why? That sounds lovely! God, you're impossible. You seem to have mispronounced impeccable. Whatever. I'm leaving before the napkin folk take over the world. Vera leaves you alone for a romantic lunch with Miranda. You can't hang out long, though. You've got to stop those napkins before they take over the world. Oh. And I'm gonna go hang out here. I was about to say, you were going for Ghost Girl, right? Yep. You arrive at your chosen table to find Damien def dejectedly hefting a ball of mashed potatoes while Polly sadly poses her hand or passes her hand through the same. Seriously, what do we have to do to get a food fight started in this cafeteria? I honestly do not know. <laughs> I tried throwing potatoes at people and yelling food fight, but I think everyone is too scared of me to fight back. Ooh-woo. <laughs> <laughs> what? She said ooh-woo. Did you just <laughs> fucking ooh-woo in my <laughs> sentence? <laughs> That's what it sounded like you would finish the sentence off with. Woo! <laughs> anyway. And I can't throw any food because of my stupid ghost hands. Plates, mirrors, antique furniture? Sure, but not food. There's gotta be a way to provoke a food war. My dads are always telling me to be more political. But we're not political. Your strength is hitting things and my strength is being unbelievably hot all the time. Unbelievably hot, that's it. We'll set the cafeteria on fire. Wait, no, that's not a solution. That's just arson. Why do I always jump straight to arson? It's hard to watch them struggle through this by themselves, so you step in with an idea of your own. Wars are fought over scarce resources, steal everyone's food, and put it in a pile. That ought to do it. Hey, Polly, you know how the Greeks fought a whole war over Helena Troy's face? We just need to get you kidnapped by Trojans. Oh my goodness. I like where your head is, but I'm not super into being kidnapped and shit. What if we skip some steps with some good old flashing? Ryan, am I gonna have to censor this? No. Don't worry, no. Are you sure? Positive. Trust me, I wish this Maybe game had some Maybe if you nudes. get the secret ending, you might have to. I'm sorry, there's a secret ending where I have to censor the, shit? Only if you are only if you think you have to censor a butt crack. Or boobs. You know what? what there's not full-on, like, Well, there's nips. not full-on boobs. Like, there are no boobs. areola for which you right, have to you, censor. I have dug what? through all this game's art, trust me. You know, what, huh? I've dug through all the art for all this well, game. Look, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Polly float up, uh, floats up onto Floatums. the table. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little distracted here. And in a practiced motion, whips her top off. It sounds like a 
pickup line. Hey there, floatums. You come here often? <laughs> I mean, it, that, that's what I'm calling Polly now. <laughs> and whips her top off. Oh, eh, wrong button. Brian. Resume. To the victor! This is a high school cafeteria. Polly's rash actions upsets the roiling cauldron of hormones, sets it on fire, and tap dances on the ruins. Soon the air is thick with sausage and gravy. Potato crisps fly everywhere like flavored shrapnel. Polly puts her shirt back on now that everyone's too busy fighting to remember what they're fighting about. Looks like mine really were the tits that launched a thousand ships. <laughs> the view you just got makes that pun worth it. <laughs> I never thought I would actually have to say that ever in my entire life. I'm going to say this. Just on first glance, I was looking at the, the ghost girl. Mm-hmm. And now that I'm seeing more of her personality, I think I dodged a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of not digging that uh, that whole deal. Weirdly, I you know me, I don't go for party people. I weirdly love Polly in this game. <laughs> I want to go for Scott. <laughs> All right, hot stuff, go for it. Then go for Scott. <laughs> don't need to ask our permission. You find Liam taking a picture of his food, and Scott taking a picture of, also, Liam's food. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to be the hipster. <laughs> Yes, Scott. Snap away. My artistic plating is too magnificent to ignore. Artistic what? I'm playing Pokemon Go, the mobile version of the hit Pocket Humans video game. What do Pocket Mons have to do with my food pick? There's a level 43 Bern <laughs> Bernardins <laughs> hanging out in the middle of your plate. Here, take a look. Scott. Why does your phone show a tiny human being doing pottery on top of my eggplant ravioli? You mean you don't know Bernard Henson? He used to be a chat Char Charter. Char chartered accountant, but now he's decided to pursue his dream of being a world famous potter. That major life change has made him super rare. Bucket humans almost never follow their dreams. Well, I don't care how rare he is. His presence is spoiling my pristine food pick. Spoiling it? My pocket humans are way cooler than a boring old food pick. You take that back! Uh-oh, tempers are running a little high. Looks like it's up to you to settle this dispute. Scott's right, Liam. Why take a normal, cliched food pick when you could take a food pick of Scott capturing a Pokemon off your food? Or, Scott, look over there. There's a Stuart Hogarth on top of that pile of mashed potatoes. What? <laughs> I don't know any of these names that they've been vomiting out. They're just normal human names instead of Pokemon. Because they're pocket humans. Right. Yeah. Instead of okay, pocket so monsters. Okay, so these aren't, those see. aren't like actual people? No. Okay. Let's see, say, did they make a reference to a person that I don't know or something? Or no, like it's just pocket of? humans instead of pocket monsters because they're monsters, you see. Right. I get that part of the joke. It's Thank the you. Explain that a little harder. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, so is you there see a... that they got the pocket Pokemon now, and now they got the pocket human. You said to do right. it harder, so my... she's gonna do it harder. <laughs> my ask, <you>, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we didn't mean to break you. <laughs> my question was: Is there a person named Bernard Hens, whatever? Probably. That does pottery. Hey, Bernard, leave us a like. <laughs> like if your name is Bernard. Share if your name is the other guy. The other guy? Okay. <laughs> the other guy. Other guy, are you saying the line or what's happening here? I'm trying. <laughs> trying to remember the voice. Good lord, you're right. The layers of irony are practically infinite. Go ahead, Scott. Capture your Pokemon. Okay, here I go! Wait, what are you doing? Stop molesting my pasta. I'm not trying to grab your pasta, bro. I'm trying to grab Bernard Henson, but he's too slippery. You imbecile, Bernard Henson isn't actually on top of my ravioli, he's an image projected by your phone. Are you sure? He seems so real. Let me just try to grab him a few more times. No! My artfully arranged pasta pockets are in disarray, you fiend. Liam chases you and Scott away so he can rebuild his artful pasta arrangement. You bond with Scott by teaching him how to actually play Pokemon's Go. Trade places! Everyone... Oh, excuse me. Everyone choose a food. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. A food? Yeah. Okay. A rhino. <laughs> Don't you say dildo, goddammit. Dick? Ravioli. <laughs> no, I was joking. <laughs> Alright, so we got rhino, dick, and ravioli. Alright. No, no, no. Oh, damn, uh, you have to click. <laughs> I was gonna click. Ha! Uh, I'm gonna do burger, actually. Okay. 
Player order is decided based on how funny the nickname Brian the Cool, your food choice, would be. Start debating now. The cool burger. The cool, the cool ravioli. The cool ravioli. I think ravioli means... Ravi ravioli's probably it. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so I'm first, and then... Yeah. What, what's, what's funnier, rhinos or burgers? I'm glad she didn't go with dick. <laughs> the cool dick? <laughs> Uh, we've, uh, are, are we really hanging on this screen because you we have can't to decide oh. yeah. what's funnier? Or you could just go to random because they're not all that funny at all. It's going to randomize everything. Yeah, go oh, ahead. does it? Yeah, just go ahead and randomize everything. Oh, it does random shit. Yeah. All right. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> Guess that's what we're doing. All right, what's... Well, oh, we're picking the thing again? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. But this time if you go to the library, that's where the shop is. Oh. Yeah, it moves What's, around. Now what the library. What does the shop do? You, you said it. You can it, either get money or spend money. Oh. Well, if uh, you go to the library, you go to the shop. So yeah. you don't get money. Right. Oh, okay. You spend money. Oh, okay. so you, do, you just spend money. Mm -hmm. But items can help you with the person of your choice. But didn't you also say it can be an instant loss? There's only one instant loss item that I know of, and I will warn you about it if it pops up. I that you spoil it to know you of. Oh, there's a few. Oh, good! I know the worst one, and you Sweet. know a couple, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll I warn know, you on it. I know any... almost all the items in yeah, this game. Yeah, we won't let you buy the instant lose item. Okay. We just won't spoil what they are. Okay. That's if you decide to go there. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Look at my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit, what they'll leave you into me. Let's take a look. Okay, what have we got? Okay, so item number four up there is an instant lose item. This? Yeah. I uh, I can see why. Yeah. Too poor for this. What is penguin mask? <laughs> Brian, I'm scared. <laughs> I like the penguin mask. I'm scared. You want this? You sick pervert? That's what it says on the mask. Happy little accents. I just realized something. What does is creativity the uh, the mer girl? Uh, yes and no. She's more charm. Yeah. And and oh, I think, yeah, because, like, mm. creativity and money is uh, Vera, isn't it? Yeah. And Liam is creativity as well. Liam is smart. Yeah. yeah. Charm, huh? Hell, I don't know what... That's a random item. This is a random. Yeah. Let's not. Uh, yeah, and the random item can be anything, and there's one really bad thing you can get from that. Oh, super. All right. I just want to say, I feel like I've made the right choice going to the shop in the first place. Uh, impractical. None of these seem like the the charm items. What, what's the tape? What's the tape? What was a sexy fake Latin accent? You know what? That I think sounds. That's charm. That sounds like it might be charm. Let's go for that. How to sexy that is seven. Charm. It, made Latin. You, it made your charm go up to ten. I was Jesus. About to say that that does look. Uh, <laughs> you anyway. know what? All profits made are donated to something. Pause oh, if you want to read it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where do I want to go? I don't want to go to the bathroom again. Uh, I got a question. Yeah. If one person picks a location, does that lock everyone else out of that location? Yes. yes. Okay. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. In the middle of everything, a portal opens up and swallows Vera, Polly, and Liam. You dive in to rescue them, and straight into... The season finale of The Interdimensional Bachelor. Oh, no. God, no. Oh, God. Wait, isn't that my line? Oh, yeah, you're right. It is. Sorry. Good Lord. Help. I'm in danger of spraining my eyes from rolling them so hard. Oh, my God, we're on a game show? <laughs> Yes, indeed. Tonight, you three will answer a series of trivial, I mean, trivia questions. Whoever gets the most points becomes my... I'm gonna win. I don't even care what the prize is. Your what? Your wife? What a revolting premise. So you're saying we're supposed to respond to a series of questions and scenarios, our answers to which will make us more or less likely to achieve a romantic outcome with you? That's extremely problematic. I can't think of anyone who would ever want to play such a tawdry dating game. Isn't that what we're doing? <laughs> yes. Everybody stop raising reasonable concerns so I can hear the first question! That's actually a very you response anyway. <laughs> what, Polly in general? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, question. Yeah? 
So how... We're at about that time. How many questions is a series of questions for... I think he said three. Yeah, so how's about we find out on the next episode? Let's find out on the next episode.